Hi there, Greg Holmeson, Philippines Recruitment Company, in part two of our series in our deep dive into recruiting out of the Philippines at a time where we can't travel to do our own assessments. So in our first part of this series, we talked about our lineup, how we got a highly skilled group of candidates in front of our clients on an online portal for them to make their own assessment. So once they've done that internally, they've shared it amongst themselves, they have a final lineup that they are happy with. We then go into our next phase of trade skills assessment. So we'll then set up uh, some assessments based on the criteria or the need of our client. Now, it will depend on what skills we're looking at here. So quite simply, a great example is when we're looking for a welder or a fabricator. So we'll set the guys up, in the, or the girls in, in the Philippines with the assessment criteria that's needed to prove that they have the skills for the client's needs. So welders will either do a vertical or an overhead weld or a, a particular size plate weld or a fabrication um, exam for the candidates where they may need to read drawings um, and build something. Or when we look at mechanics, it will be a little bit different again. And this is where we've had to play around with some different scenarios. So our clients, if they wish, can actually live stream to the candidates sitting in our office in the Philippines. Now, they might be then in their workshop in amongst equipment that they're actually having the candidates to be able to have confidence in being able to work with. So they'll ask questions of the candidates in real time to get real answers to understand what their skill set is with respect to the equipment they need. Or we can put the candidates in a trade skill center in the Philippines where our clients can be sitting in their office asking questions again in real time to determine the skill set of the Filipinos. So from there, we then get a final group of people that we've actually selected. So we've been through all of the trade skills assessments, there's been interviews, and we've got our group that we want to move forward with. So a letter of offer comes along and away we go with the next stage. This is where the Trades Recognition Australia assessment comes in. Now this has all changed now in recent times because once upon a time an RTO, Registered Training Organisation, would fly to the Philippines and conduct the assessment. Quite simply, a welder could demonstrate their ability to weld. A mechanic would demonstrate in a workshop environment their ability to do their job. So nowadays that gets done online. So the assessments are taking a lot longer, twice as long or three times, they're up to three hours and sometimes more these assessments, it's tough on the assessors to actually really um, be able to understand the skill set of the candidates they're assessing. It's tough on the candidates. And so this is why right at the very beginning, as I mentioned in, the, in our first um, program, that the candidates set an English test. Now this is because we need them to be able to not just demonstrate their skills to someone, but they need to demonstrate their skills in English online. So their English needs to be very good. So we, we have determined that. We then also go through the theory of what they need to be able to pass a Cert 3. We refresh what they've learned in their own TAFE colleges to make sure that they haven't left anything off that would be required to pass the Certificate 3. So this has created a challenge and I know that it, as I said before, it's a challenge for the assessors. The, there has been a significant uh, increase in the failure rate um, of these tests. Not so much for us because we put a lot of work into that education process and making sure that the guys are right up to speed with what they need to know to be able to pass the Cert 3. So that's, again, a bit about what you'll get when you finally get a Filipino landing on shore. They've got the theory behind the practice. And this is something that adds value to what our clients are seeing when the guys arrive. So then we've got the Cert 3, we're then ready to lodge, and that will come in the next part. 
So again, Greg Holmeson, Philippines Recruitment Company. Please shoot back any questions you've got from one, two, or what the next one might bring. Let me know what you're thinking, any thoughts you've got. Very happy to continue this conversation. Cheers.